Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial at 24th and Lake is getting some much needed TLC. The Interdenominational Ministerial Alliance is guiding the renovation project. City of Omaha and Douglas County put up the money and new tonight, John Chapman tells us it took a couple of years to finally get the repairs going. Sunday morning worship wasn't the only thing going on at the Clare Memorial United Methodist Church this summer. Every day, the Clare Leadership Academy was running at full speed. Pastor Portia Cabot giving children a chance to play and teaching them how to garden and cook and also teaching them about history. For a couple of years, Pastor Cabot has been working to preserve a page of history that was in desperate need of repair. Over the years, the Nebraska weather has not been kind to the King Memorial on 24th and Lake. The concrete has started cracking and the pavers has started uh, raising. Uh, it was not a smooth walking path. DMS Landscaping is working to smooth things out, taking up the broken pavers and cracked concrete and preparing to pour a new sub base before dropping in new pavers. We want to make this thing beautiful when it's done and uh, we've taken all the extra steps to make sure they're going to have a fantastic product when it's all completed. So pretty awesome to be part of the history of the city of Omaha. It's that history that Pastor Cabot and the Interdenominational Ministerial Alliance is working so hard to preserve. That's the historical 24th Street and we're right there on the corner. Uh, it means a lot. It, it uh, tells us about our past, but also uh, it helps us in the present and as we look toward the future. Pastor Cabot tells us it's the future, our children, that make this project so important to the entire metro area. They have something tangible that they can touch, that they can read, that they can also write uh, what Dr. King means to them or what his dream and his reality and in light of all that we're going through today, how we need to make sure that we are unified and that we are uh, respectful of the diversity of our communities. On your side in North Omaha, I'm John Chapman, 6 News. Dr. Kevin says she's hoping the renovated memorial will be complete around the end of next month.